Welcome back to our investigation. What is happening in McKenna's body that's making her feel sick? Based on her symptoms, we know that McKenna's problem is coming from her digestive system. We've learned a lot about the digestive system. We've learned that the digestive system breaks down large food molecules into smaller food molecules. We've also learned that the smaller food molecules are absorbed into the bloodstream in the intestines. We also know that there's a problem with McKenna's small intestine. She's not absorbing the food molecules. Instead, they're coming out in her poop. We're getting pretty close to figuring out what's wrong with McKenna. Last week, we realized she either has celiac disease or Crohn's disease. But we still have some questions. One big question is, a lot of McKenna's symptoms make sense that they're coming from her digestive system. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramps, those all clearly go with the digestive system. But some of them don't make sense. Trouble concentrating? How is that related to her digestive system? What about feeling tired? Today we'll focus in on fatigue or being tired. We'll start by reflecting on the reason that we need to eat food. Then think about where all of these different food molecules come from in your diet. For example, meat contains a lot of proteins, which are broken down into amino acids. Some of the foods might have more than one category, and if you get stuck, you can look at the food pyramid for help. Next, we'll think about what happens to those small food molecules once they go into our blood screen. If you need to hear the text read aloud, click here. Then you'll make a prediction. How do the food molecules get to our cells? Once they're in our bloodstream, we have trillions and trillions of cells all over our bodies. How do those food molecules get to our cells? Next, make a prediction. Based on what you've learned today, why might McKenna be feeling tired? Last, think about things that you already know and what else our body needs to survive. We know that we need to eat food to survive, but what else needs to go into our bodies? Also, what else leaves our bodies? We know pee and poop comes out, but there's other things too. When you're finished, reflect on our learning targets.